will not be coming out of a house built with bricks and clay you will live like a herbalist you will come out from your shrine only to come and confirm the results of your permutation because if you live in the world i'm telling you the truth it was supposed to michael Rocco that said you would never command the allegiance of a generation that civilized you if they are the ones that tilted your mind affected your school of thought there is nothing you can offer them i call a generation today who would live on the mountains the only time you come down is to come and check whether what you what you concocted in the spirit realm has found expression a herbalist does not live with men there's a reason why he isolated himself he separated himself so that his attention can only be called by the deity that he summons to so if anytime a herbalist is coming out of the shrine he's coming with mysteries now there's facebook there's whatsapp instagram snapchat all these things struggling for the very few hours in the day and the day a full course of a day is a typology of the progression of a man's life so if you check in just a day alone they have plotted the ways that you are going to lose so many valuable seasons valuable hours you think you only spent three hours on the internet but i tell you the truth what they are doing to your mind is more consequential than even the times you stood there and watching this is why it was necessary for all of the people who struck relevant chords with god at the course of their sojourn that god had to isolate and separate them so the bible says the child john was in the wilderness until the season of his appearing in the wilderness waiting and cooking receiving downloads of god it was michael robo that told us about the technology of spiritual networking where you can separate the man the, the bible says a man having separated himself seeketh and intermediate with all wisdom having separated himself i want to drink from the brook of my smuro having separated himself I want to speak to Mike Mudok. You don't need that man to come to Nigeria. Carry his tape. Many of us have not mastered this technology. So you want to sleep and you just put songs on it. Just, you just put several songs, a playlist, all the songs you like. This is why you wake up and you cannot even explain which dream you had and which one you don't have. There are many spirits that you were invoking at the same time. After Solomon Lange, it was this one that entered. After this one, ah! Don't you have understanding that while you sleep, your flesh has been immobilized. So your spirit is aligned. So it will be easy for you to have the chances that you will see Joshua Selman in your dream. If you are playing his message before you sleep, is very high. Many of you, you know how to speak to him if you want to talk to him. So I have found a way to take counseling sessions with him without having to travel to Abuja. I just have to put that one message on repeats. Don't put many songs. You don't even know the spirit of some of these musicians. Look for a man that you trust his secret place and put it on repeat. Then shut down. When you shut down, this is why you wake up with loss sometimes. Because not every gospel musician is approved of God. Many of them carries layers of lust. And why you expose yourself on, 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 on Kai. And then the things enter. They enter. After this song, you thought it was the melody. But melodies are not what moves the hands of spirit. It was just the guitar, the strings that they called David to play. While the demon possessed Saul, there was no song attached to it. Just sound. And there were particular spirits that can bully the spirits that came upon Saul on the ground of sound. And you expose yourself almost eight hours. Imagine attending a service of eight hours. That was what you did while you kept those things playing in the night. If I am already faulting those who did not intelligently select the content that entered their soul, what do I have to say about those who listen to secular songs then? What is the fate of those who just say, hey, it's just... Uh, uh, David did not say anything bad inside this song. It's just, just a nice song. It's just West Life. You, do you think it is the words that enter you? It is the spirit from whence it came. All of the track record that they have subjected their life to, it will flow into you. Unfortunately, you are most helpless when you are asleep. 
even the prince of Pasha, the mighty fallen cherub, I added mighty so you would know that all your garagara, he will master you. He knows that it is why men sleep. That's the right time to make your move. Today there is a call. There is a mountain that is inviting somebody and say live by systems. Set walls around your life. So somebody might leave this meeting and decide that I would never go on the internet once it's 10 p.m. above. And it will be a, a, a law that was inspired by a spirit. Somebody might leave this meeting and decide that I and movies, especially Hollywood movies, will pathways for the rest of my life. And it will be a prize of consecration. I'm still introducing it. The deeper life. The deeper life. The deeper life. A lady met me recently, a core member, serving. And she's teaching in a school. She was disciplining the whole students because of a misbehavior. And while she was flogging them, she stumbled upon a little girl in primary two. That when she whipped her with one stroke of the cane, the girl looked at her in her eyes and said, I will deal with you. Two years old, I will deal with you. I'm inviting somebody to the, the deeper life. You are a, a, a fine guy, but you're only fine in the cosmos. You have only discovered your identity in the cosmos. Unfortunately, results are not powered from the cosmos. In the realm that matters, the little girl went in the night. And the next day, the same hand that the teacher used to flog her was times two of the size. It was so long beyond proportion. Scanning did not show anything wrong. It was a two years old girl that disciplined her. The reason is that while you were building credentials in the physical world and studying and understanding the laws of physics, which of course is the laws of the physical world, you did not know that the place where results are marshaled from, if you did not invest in that place, you might be a giant physically, but you will be a dwarf in the times where men collide in the spirit. And if they meet a dwarf there, your physical form notwithstanding, you will be helpless. So her hands is times two. Now she went about looking for a man whose verdict can overturn the decision of that two-year-old girl. Unfortunately, it's only in the physical world that she's two years. <laughs> I've heard very funny things during confession sessions. I've heard small children saying they have, that they have grandchildren in that place. Has any of you heard talks like that? I've heard people who claim they have mansions, that they have duplex. <laughs> But in the physical world, they are impoverished, very poor. But, but ah, they have two private jets. They fly, they fly around. So the witch is not bothered by the physical impoverishment and the lack and scarcity that accustoms what she is physically. She knows that at night, in the realm that matters, I have an identity. And that is what consoles her. So although you are beating her physically, she is the one that is living more happy than you. The deeper life. I am desperate for you. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Desperate for you. Oh, 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 oh. Is this your cry? I am desperate for you. Oh. The place that matters. Oh, 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 oh. 